Some new developments on the abrupt closure of the Perch appliance seller. Some customers telling Fox 5 they're out thousands of dollars with several of their orders outstanding. Our Kasia Gorchik is joining us live outside the company Solana Beach location with more. Kasha. And Kathleen, the perch location here in Solana Beach looks a lot like it did last week. There's still this notice here on the door for customers actually saying that they plan on returning soon. But we also see some notices here from UPS basically saying there hasn't been anyone at the building in the last couple of days. So tonight we spoke to yet another customer coming forward still seeking answers. It was a custom grill too from Kalamazoo that we ordered through Perch. So all the specs are dialed in specifically for that grill. Bree Reed and her husband Keith have been anxiously waiting for the moment they could finally install a new grill in their backyard, which was ordered about a year and a half ago. It's not like it was just $500. We're talking $25,000 here and nobody's responding. It was purchased from upscale appliance store Perch, which abruptly closed end of March. Contractor said, oh, the space is finally made for this grill. Um, give them a call and let them know that we're ready. So by that point, we, uh, by the time we contacted them, they had already closed. I have to imagine we are very small fries when it comes to the scope of people that got hosed by Perch. Following the closure, lawsuits have been filed against Perch for unpaid rent. Last week, dozens of customers came together for an online forum hosted by a local design business who feel cheated and ignored. I was like, oh, well, they're just reorganizing things. They'll because it's already there, of course they're going to reach out and give us what we paid for. And then it wasn't until I started talking to other designers that they're like, no, they're going to go bankrupt. They'll probably repossess the items. Signs on the Solana Beach storefront and notices that pop up on Perch's website call these closures a pause while the company works on a path forward. They point customers to a list of email addresses for pending orders and refunds. However, no one Fox 5 has spoken with has actually received a reply. The Reeds believe their item is likely still sitting in a Perch warehouse and are holding out hope they'll eventually receive it. Do the right thing. Like we've we've had nothing but good reviews to say about Perch until this instance. Now we have tried getting in touch with Perch ourselves since last week. We have not been able to, but I did speak with a current employee today. He tells me that he's been asked to basically start taking paid time off since late last week. And within the company, they're hearing that Perch may end up filing for Chapter 7 bankruptcy, which does not involve a plan to replay, repay, but instead a liquidation of assets. So everyone, of course, hoping to eventually hear from Perch themselves. Reporting live in Solana Beach tonight, Kasia Grigorczyk, Fox 5 News.